The purpose of this video will be to show you how to map data between the cell order line or the sales order and the invoice that is generated from that cell order. <clears throat> so the first thing you go on to do, open up your Odoo environment, go to settings, make sure you're in developer mode. Second thing is open up a few tabs with the identical uh, views all showing. Let's get ourselves back to the home screen per each view. Next, we're going to want to go to the order line. So if you look at the sale order, create a test one. I'll just have test customer here. So if you'll see here that there's actually two models that you're looking at. Model one, <clears throat> excuse me, got a bit of a cold, but model one is the actual sale order. Model two is the sale order lines and you'll see the relation it's the bottom it's the last bullet point down it says relation sale order line so what we're going to do is if we go to the if we type in models and we type in sale.order it will show you the sale order if we type in sale order line it will also show me the sale order line down here so if I look at the sale order line, I'll see all the fields on the sale order line. And I'll be able to click edit and add a field here. So maybe I want to add a field called, um, we'll just call this uh, um, notes. So that's the technical name of the field. Notes is the name of the field that the customer will see or that the user will see. And here you define the type of field that it is. And we'll just make it a text field. Very simple. Now, what you need to do is if you want to move this field over to the sale order line or over to the invoice line, uh, it's quite simple. And we'll add one more field, a many to one, to make it a little bit more interesting. And we'll call this um, referral. make this a many to one and we'll relate it to the res.partner or our contact database. So I've just created two fields and if you don't see your fields when looking at this view, always click here and make sure that you have a full expansion of all the fields and you'll see the two fields down here, X notes ID, X referral ID. So now what we're going to do is let's go to the order and let's use, put these fields here. There's two ways to do that. Option one, is to use Odoo Studio and to actually go in and edit the view of the, you'll see I edited, it's important to note, again, it's a different table. So when I click edit and I open this up, I'm actually going to edit this table, not the cell order table. And you'll see here I can drag any of these fields like that I created, such as the notes. The other option, if you don't have Odoo Studio, is to go into the actual form view and search for the where the sale order line information is which would be um, in here and add it somewhere in here so I can go in and just say uh, I'll add it next to the name here And what that does is it will add it, it should add it right next to the description. So you'll see referral right there as well. Now you'll see that these are working fields on my set order line. There it is, so I'll just have a test product, we'll call it. And I will have my notes. I'm sorry, my internet is a little bit slow, but I'll be able to leave a note here and access my table of contacts here and specify a referral but I also need to specify a customer so now I can see how to edit the sale order line as such 
the next step will be to link this information into the invoice. Very simple. So if I'm going to create a field on the invoice, I have to create a home for these fields to land on the invoice line. So again, go to your models. And I apologize, my internet is not very good. So I will try to relocate. Okay, so once I'm here, I can go to my invoice line. Right, there's, a, again, just like the sale order, there's a difference between the invoice and the invoice line. Make sure you look at the invoice line. Then what you're going to want to do here is every time there's, there's different, there's pre-existing relationships that are in place between tables. And they're, they're fields. And these fields allow you to, in some ways, identify the particular record or the particular object you want to relate back to. So in the example from the invoice, right, you know that when you in when you have a sale order, you create an invoice, you know that the line items, some of the fields on the line of that invoice, all they translate into uh, on the excuse me, some of the lines on that sale order, they translate into the invoice when you create that invoice. So you know that there's a connection there somewhere. And what you can do is go to these models, search, type in order, and you'll usually, or type in some, uh, some you know, name that in some way uh, ties back to the original record that you're looking at. An example might be if you want to, you know, pull, you know, if you know, perfect example is the sell order line. If you want to know what other, where the sell order line is related, for example, on a project or on a task, I should say, on the task, there is a field for the order line. So you know that there's a field there on the task which relates back to the sell order line. So you can pull information from the sell order uh, line onto the project task. So here we'll have the line is sell line IDS. So if I want to go in and actually relate a field, what I can do is I can create a new field here. We'll call this referral ID. Keep it simple. Referral field type many to one. Relationship, we're referencing the same table, the res.partner, because we will always want these referral values to come from that table. And here in related field, I'm going to type in sale line IDS dot the name of the field on the sale line ID that I want to identify. So it's X referral ID and it's not this referral ID. It's the referral ID field on the sale line that I want to reference in place of this field. And just like that, I go ahead and save it. <clears throat> And now I go to my invoice, and when I create this invoice, I'm going to use Studio for the sake of speed. I'll be able to go find my referral field. I know why. <laughs> Simple mistake. I'm not looking at the right model. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Um, but you drag and drop this, and there's my referral value. So. With that, now when I go to the order, and I create a sale order for a customer, for test, you know, test notes, we'll have um, John Doe, to keep it interesting, create a new contact, right? Now that I've just created John Doe here, I'll also see uh, John Doe as part of my customer database. So once I go back to that order, or actually it's a quote, And I confirm this, those values hold. And when I go create my invoice, John Doe carries forward into the invoice. I can validate the invoice. And now that John Doe is here, I can even use Odoo Studio to edit any PDF reports that might come from this invoice as such. And you'll see if I wanna add a field in the column here, on the line, I can go through the invoice line 
and I can actually grab my referral. This will take me back to the contact database because we know we linked it correctly. And I can actually pull the contact name. I could pull the contact phone number. I could pull, their, pull any information related to this contact. But I want to pull, for the sake of the demo here, the contact name. And just like that, it will drop it. And I may want to rename this field here to, to referral. So now anytime I print out this beautiful invoice, it will carry that name with it. John Doe. So that's how you map fields between a sale order and an invoice. Um, you can, and I just want to make sure it's clear, you can go back to that model, the invoice line, and you can go to the um, referral, and you can change the name. So this is going to stay the same. You're going to type sale line IDS, but the name of the field, you then dot, and the name of whatever field you want to reference on the sale order line. Keep in mind, sale order line is different than the sale order. So any field on the sale order line, you can map back to the invoice line. So that's how it's done. If you have any questions or you need help with this, let me know. Thanks.